What's up, you guys? Chad Guthrie, the Dream Poet here, coming to you all from an undisclosed location here in East Tennessee. And now why I say undisclosed location, undisclosed, undisclosed location is today, guys, we will be something that is both very cool and something whose location needs to stay relatively quiet for now. And what that is, you all might be asking, well, they are two dinky locomotives that have been abandoned here in this small town for quite a while now. And these trains have a very bizarre story to go along with that. Actually, we are walking along the same railroad bed that these two trains used to go back and forth with all the time, back up until the 1930s. The year, was 1934 I believe it was 1934 and there was a gentleman who owned and operated this town um, anyway he had a really big issue with FDR you see if I'm not mistaken he did not want FDR to get back in office because he was about to establish what will to be today known as a minimum wage. And now, well, this minimum wage made this gentleman who owned these railroad or these locomotives very angry. He did not want to have to pay a minimal for his workers. He wanted to pay them what he wanted to pay them. But that election year came and Franklin Delano Roosevelt once again got into the office of president of the United States. And this, the owner of these two trains said, I will shut this city down. I do not want FDR here. I will shut this town down. And so what he did is he took these trains and he put them at this undisclosed location. And they have been here ever since, since the 1930s. Uh, so pretty much they've been here probably for a little over a hundred years now. And a cool fact about where we are right now and where we're walking, this, uh, this old, uh, well, I won't say old, this um, recreation track or this uh, little recreation road, this road right here was the original train bed that these uh, trains went on. Back there at the park, that is some of what is left over. Well, what was the railroad, railroad bed? Now, I did see that there was that, uh, that big open piece of track. I'm really, really hoping that this town here in East Tennessee will take it and put one of them on those tracks because when you see what I'm talking about, these trains should not be where they are at right now. They are pieces of history that will baffle you. Out here along the, uh, the road bed, I did find this. This is the bridge that uh, the train used to go on top of. I don't believe it's the train tracks because that looks like this has been a creek here since the beginning of time. So I kind of doubt that this was the train tracks. But seriously, look at that. It's got an echo to it. Kind of see where uh, the new road meets with the, uh, the old one. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing to see old or old foundations compared to new. And you guys, it looks like we have found it. We have found the remains of these two trains that have been in here since the 1930s. Since the gentleman who saw that uh, FDR won a second term. This is where they took them. He took them. He barred them up. He said he was going to shut down the town. Only, well, that didn't exactly happen. I mean, just check this out. These are beautiful. I really, really wish that they could get these to a museum. Now, this is the diesel engine that they used that helped with this dinky, or at least one of them anyway. But, um, you see, 
these locomotives that were owned in uh, Chattanooga, there were three of them in total. Uh, one of them was uh, is on display. I forgot exactly where, but these these are practically untouched by the hands of time. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy that they are still here. Oh my God, this is incredible. Now let's check out this uh, this small box car. I mean, it does have some stuff left, but kind of looks like it's fallen to the wayside. But, I mean, honestly, I'm surprised that these have remained in here without really the rest of the world knowing about it. I mean, what's, what's like in here? Oh, wow. This is absolutely incredible. That's where the conductor used to sit. This is the old diesel. I mean, I am absolutely baffled. Now, of course, that's gonna be an issue in the future. And this thing still looks practically new. But yeah, this barn is from the 1930s. These trains, these are practically, if you think about it, these are the last two of their kind, period. Well, three in this area. They're just out here in a barn. In this undisclosed location. But now that we have found these, I think we're gonna get on back on the road. That was absolutely mind-blowing to think that those trains have been sitting there for all this time and yet the rest of the world around them have changed so much it's absolutely it's baffling and i mean it's very sad um now again this is an undisclosed location i wanted to say that again at the end of this video just because if word were to get out on where these trains were you would probably have people that would be vandalizing them stealing the rust or stealing stealing the metal off of them so having said that whoever sees this video whether those who know where they, these trains are at or not please please i plead with you please do not damage these trains these trains need to be in a museum. They don't need to be there dying in that, that, uh, that barn. They don't need to be there. Now, I do know a little bit of who owns them. I guess I just wanted to say it again. Please, I plead with you, let, some, let a museum or let a, a park take these these trains and take care of them they deserve it they deserve to be loved and cherished by cherished by everybody but having said that this is going to be the end of my vlog remember don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon always means a lot goes to show that y'all care and y'all want to see more videos so having said that vlog over